Hey guys, welcome back to another review on our YouTube channel. Today is going to be a very quick installation video from Advan Black. Once again, we've got the laser cut skid plates in and they look amazing. So guys, when I first got the extended saddlebags, uh, I wanted to make sure that the bottom of the bags were protected. I've rode with guys in the past and it uh, seems like their bags come pretty close to the uh, ground. I've even got a buddy that uh, corners pretty hard on his street glide and uh, actually scraped his bags a few times. So I wanted to make sure that the uh, bottoms of these were protected. And like I said, these are laser cut uh, from stainless steel so they won't rust or anything. Very nice. As you can see, the uh, Advan Black logo is uh, laser cut into them. And then on the back, you have pretty much 98% uh, coverage of, with uh, 3M tape. And uh, I'll show you a little tip, guys on installing anything with 3M tape. Now anytime that you're using a double-sided 3M tape, you always wanna make sure you wanna activate the sticky underneath that tape. And you can do that by leaving the red cover on there and just taking your thumbnail and just going back and forth and scraping the whole taped area really deep. Just get down in there. You're not gonna tear anything up underneath it. That really activates the glue underneath there. And it's recommended by 3M that you do that with any of their uh, double-sided sticky tape products. Once you get it all activated, kind of get some heat applied to it with your thumb and your thumbnail, get it all scratched up, start peeling it off. It also makes it a little easier to uh, peel up the edges. Another thing I like about these two guys is they're, they're stainless steel, so they're gonna definitely protect the bottom of your bags, but they're also thin. So you don't see that from the side. It doesn't have a profile, a uh, side profile. The uh, nice 3M sticky tape, like I said, on the bottom, easy to apply. You don't have to drill any holes. Uh, which is another plus. I get these up in the camera. Hopefully I can get the light just right on them, but you can see uh, the laser cut in them and you can see the uh, thickness and the 3M tape right there, guys. They're nice and solid, not flimsy little pieces of metal uh, for one twelfth of an inch. Will definitely save the bottom of your bags if you accidentally uh, corner a little too hard and actually get your bags. Now, one thing I've noticed in the past, guys, when I've scraped my bags, that I've actually scraped my floorboard before I scrape my bag. I see that uh, on the forums a lot. Do you actually scrape your bags? And it depends on how you have your bike set up, guys. If you got them dropped, if you got air ride on the back and you tend to ride a little bit lower than, uh, you know, stock ride height, chances are you could, you know, if you corner pretty hard, you could smack one of your bags. Now, I noticed in the past when I scraped one of my bags, I also scraped my floorboard. Uh, so you want to check your floorboards too, guys. Uh, if you're scraping those, you're definitely going to be scraping your bags. Uh, so this is definitely an investment that is uh, well worth the money. I've seen a lot of stretched saddlebags that didn't have any kind of protection on the bottom and they were beat up. Um, guys that corner these street glides. Uh, I'm not a big fast corner, uh, but some guys are. And uh, if you are, if you're one of those guys, you probably need to get these on there. We're going to get these installed and we'll see what they look like. All right, guys, so we have them installed right there. Pretty easy. Activated the 3M tape, got everything peeled off. Guys, make sure that you don't touch the uh, tape after you've peeled the uh, plastic off, guys. Every time you touch that, you get a little oil off your fingers on there, and it will affect the uh, stickiness of the tape. Also, in preparation, before I put this on, I wanted to make sure that I took a good cleaning product and cleaned the bottom of this. Make sure that you remove any wax or uh, polish or anything that you may have on the bottom of your bags. That's also going to affect how good they stick and how long they last. And once you get the bottom of it clean, activate the tape, peel the red stuff off, line it up real good, smash it on, stick it, you're good to go. Hopefully, I zoom the camera in there, you can see how they look and how they actually take the form of the bottom of the bag. So very nice, low, thin profile, definitely going to protect the bottom of the bag. Then it's just a matter of getting your bags back on the bike, guys. It's that easy. A small investment to save a pretty pricey investment, guys. That's uh, definitely well worth the money. So check them out. You can get these on uh, advanblack.com. Uh, you can purchase them uh, in the drop-down boxes if you purchase the bags. That's also in the uh, drop-down boxes down at the bottom. You have a selection, a few things that you uh, select when you're purchasing your bags, whether or not you have pinstripe, what color, do you want the extended fender? 
Um, and then this is also in one of the drop down boxes. That this is the skid plates uh, that it's referring to. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you got any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment box down below and I'll try to help you the best that I can. Please check out our channel for all the other Advan Black reviews. Guys, we have the uh, speaker lids, the extended bottoms, the extended fender. We have the lowers with speaker pods, the painted interfering, the headlight. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff, the uh, Razor Tour Pack, which I have off the bike right now. It's just laying in the floor so I can do this video for you guys. Uh, but uh, definitely have a, a lot of parts from Mad Van Black, and I've done a video on every one of the parts. So if you're interested, please check those out. I got some tips and tricks videos uh, for installing the lowers, and then of course, getting your bags and your extended fender lined up. I have that video on there, it's fairly new. Now, if these videos have helped you, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. It helps keep the channel going, and every time we do a product upgrade to the motorcycle, we put it on video for you guys to see. Hopefully, it'll help you make an informed decision whether or not you want that particular product on your sled. Uh, we have a lot of products on there, uh, a lot of different name brands, and you can check it out. So all you guys that have hit the subscribe button in the last couple of months, you guys are awesome. I appreciate the hell out of you. It's been an awesome journey, and it's been cool meeting a lot of you guys. So keep them coming. Until the next video review, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.